Hamiltonian in a moving frame of reference. Sometimes, to simplify calculations, it may be necessary to move to a moving frame of reference. For example, you need to find an expression for the Hamiltonian in a rotating frame of reference. In this video, you will learn how to do this in the most general form. So, we have a Hamiltonian in the laboratory frame of reference. We denote it as H with the superscript L. We want to move to a moving frame of reference whose motion is described by the evolution operator U and find an appropriate expression for the Hamiltonian. We denote it as H with the superscript M. For this purpose, we will use the Schrodinger equation presented on the screen and the equations for the wave function. The wave function in the moving frame can be found by applying an evolution operator to the wave function in the lab frame and the other way around. In addition, we will use the fact that the evolution operator is a unitary operator. First, we use the Schrodinger equation in the lab frame and substitute the expression for the lab frame wave function, which is the inverse evolution operator acting on the wave function in the moving frame. Then, we need to get rid of this unpleasant partial derivative. To do this, write out the derivative according to the formula for the derivative of the product of the two functions. We can now substitute this expression into the equation. To further simplify this formula, apply an evolution operator to all the terms. Using the fact that the evolution operator is unitary and grouping the terms, we obtain the following equation. Now, if we compare it with the Schrodinger equation for the moving frame of reference, we find the expression for Hamiltonian in a moving frame of reference.